The Five Love Languages is a best-selling book written by Dr. Gary Chapman. Published in 1992, the book explores the concept that individuals express and receive love in different ways. Chapman identifies five primary love languages, and he suggests that understanding and speaking the right love language is essential for building and maintaining successful relationships. Chapter 1, What Happens to Love After the Wedding In this chapter, Dr. Chapman addresses the common phenomenon of romantic love waning after the initial stages of a relationship. He acknowledges the reality that the intense emotions experienced during the courtship period often give way to a more stable, companionate love. Chapman introduces the concept that understanding and speaking each other's love languages can be the key to maintaining and even deepening love over time. Key Lessons from Chapter 1 1. Love Evolution Recognize that the nature of love changes over time, and the initial intense feelings may naturally diminish. 2. Importance of Understanding Understanding your partner's love language becomes crucial for sustaining a meaningful connection beyond the honeymoon phase. 3. Investing in Love the chapter encourages readers to invest time and effort into understanding the dynamics of love in their relationships. Chapter 2, Keeping the Love Tank Full Chapman introduces the concept of the love tank as a metaphor for an individual's emotional reservoir of feeling loved and valued. He contends that it's essential to keep this love tank full for a healthy and satisfying relationship. Chapman discusses how learning and expressing love in the right language can prevent the love tank from becoming depleted, fostering a sense of emotional fulfillment and connection. Key Lessons from Chapter 2 1. Love is a resource. Consider love as a valuable resource that needs to be consistently supplied to maintain a healthy relationship. 2. Understanding emotional needs. Recognize that each person has emotional needs, and it's essential to understand and fulfill these needs for a strong and enduring connection. 3. Proactive love. Be proactive in expressing love in a way that resonates with your partner's love language to ensure a consistently full love tank. Chapter 3 falling in love. This chapter delves into the phenomenon of falling in love and the subsequent challenges of maintaining that emotional high. Chapman acknowledges that while the initial stages of love are marked by passion and excitement, these feelings may not last forever. He suggests that understanding and adapting to the changes in the relationship, coupled with speaking each other's love languages, can help to sustain a fulfilling connection. Key Lessons from Chapter 3 1. Beyond the honeymoon phase, acknowledge that the intensity of the honeymoon phase may diminish, but it doesn't mean the end of love. 2. Adaptability, learn to adapt to the evolving nature of love in a relationship and find new ways to express affection. Chapter 4, Love Language Number 1, Words of Affirmation. In this chapter, Dr. Chapman explores the first love language, words of affirmation. He emphasizes the power of verbal expressions of love, encouragement, compliments, and kind words. For individuals whose primary love language is words of affirmation, hearing positive and affirming statements is essential for feeling loved and appreciated. Key Lessons from Chapter 4 1. The Impact of Words Understand the profound impact that words can have on a person's emotional well-being and sense of love. 2. Expressing Appreciation Learn the art of expressing genuine appreciation and affirmation to your partner regularly. 3. Positive Communication Recognize that positive communication is a vital aspect of fostering a loving connection, especially for those whose love language is words of affirmation. Chapter 5, Love Language Number 2, Acts of Service Chapman explores the second love language, Acts of Service. This chapter highlights the significance of actions and practical demonstrations of love, such as helping with chores or performing thoughtful acts of service. For individuals who value acts of service, these tangible expressions speak louder than words. Key Lessons from Chapter 5 1. Actions speak louder, understand that for some people, actions carry more weight than verbal expressions, and performing acts of service is a tangible way to demonstrate love. 2. Shared Responsibilities, appreciate the impact of sharing responsibilities and contributing actively to the well-being of the relationship. 3. Thoughtful Gestures, learn to identify and perform thoughtful gestures that align with your partner's needs and love language. Chapter 6 Love Language Number 3, Receiving Gifts In this chapter, Chapman discusses the third love language, receiving gifts. He explores the idea that for some individuals, the act of giving and receiving meaningful gifts is a primary way to express and receive love. These gifts symbolize thoughtfulness, care, and consideration. Key Lessons from Chapter 6 1. Symbolic Meaning Understand that gifts are not just material possessions, they carry symbolic meaning and emotional significance. 2. Thoughtful giving, learn the art of thoughtful gift giving, 
where the emphasis is on the sentiment behind the gift rather than its monetary value. Chapter 7, Love Language Number 4, Quality Time. In this chapter, Dr. Chapman focuses on the fourth love language, quality time. He discusses the importance of spending meaningful, undivided attention with your partner. Quality time involves active listening, engaging in deep conversations, and creating shared experiences to strengthen the emotional connection. Key Lessons from Chapter 7 1. Focused Attention Understand the value of giving your partner your full and undivided attention during quality time. 2. Quality over quantity Recognize that the quality of time spent together is more crucial than the quantity of time. Chapter 8 Love Language Number 5 Physical Touch Chapman explores the fifth love language, physical touch. In this chapter, he delves into the significance of physical affection, including hugs, kisses, and other forms of touch. Physical touch is a powerful way for individuals to express and receive love. Key lessons from chapter 8. 1. Nonverbal connection. Acknowledge the importance of nonverbal communication through physical touch in building intimacy. 2. Comfort and security. Understand that physical touch provides a sense of comfort, security, and emotional closeness. Chapter 9, Discovering Your Love Language In this chapter, Dr. Chapman provides practical guidance on how readers can identify their own love language and that of their partner. He introduces quizzes and exercises to help individuals discover and understand their preferred ways of giving and receiving love. Key Lessons from Chapter 9 1. Self-Reflection Engage in self-reflection to identify your own primary love language and understand your emotional needs. 2. Effective communication. Learn how to communicate your love language to your partner, fostering a deeper understanding between you two. Chapter 10. Love is a choice. In this chapter, Dr. Chapman emphasizes that love is not just a feeling but also a choice. He discusses the importance of choosing to love your partner actively, especially during challenging times. Chapman argues that understanding and using your partner's love language is a deliberate and intentional choice that strengthens the foundation of a relationship. Key Lessons from Chapter 10 1. Active Decision Recognize that love involves an active decision to choose to love and express love consistently. 2. Commitment Understand that commitment is a crucial element in making the choice to love, and it goes beyond fleeting emotions. Chapter 11 Loving the Unlovely In the final chapter, Chapman addresses the challenges of loving someone who may be difficult to love or whose actions may be unlovable. He provides insights on how understanding and speaking the love language of such individuals can be transformative, fostering a stronger and more compassionate connection. Key Lessons from Chapter 11 1. Empathy and Understanding Cultivate empathy and understanding towards your partner, especially during difficult times. 2. Love is a healing force Recognize the potential of love as a healing force that can overcome challenges and strengthen the relationship. Conclusion In conclusion, The Five Love Languages by Dr. Gary Chapman offers a profound exploration of the intricacies of love within romantic relationships. Throughout the chapters, Chapman delves into the unique ways individuals express and receive love, introducing the concept of love languages as a framework for understanding and navigating the complexities of human connection. The early chapters set the stage by addressing the common challenges faced in long-term relationships, highlighting the evolution of love beyond the initial stages. Recognizing the importance of keeping the love tank full and understanding each other's love languages becomes central to Chapman's message. The exploration of specific love languages, words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch, provides readers with practical insights into the diverse ways people communicate affection. Each chapter unfolds the nuances of these languages, offering key lessons on adapting behaviors to align with a partner's preferences. Chapman underscores the significance of intentional choices in love, emphasizing that love is not merely a fleeting emotion but an active decision. The final chapters challenge readers to extend love even in challenging circumstances, promoting empathy and understanding as crucial elements in overcoming obstacles. The five love languages leaves readers with a transformative perspective on love, one that goes beyond traditional expressions and delves into the realm of intentional, tailored gestures.